This is the RNAV3 with a course reversal at a pixie uh, out of Appleton. You can find this scenario on page 166 of Flying with the Avidine IFD by Michael F. Bauer. In a previous lesson, we flew the RNAV3 approach from Fond du Lac uh, via Oshkosh into Appleton, flew the RNAV3, and then we flew the mist. And we are sitting in the hold after that mist approach. We're holding at Sigi. So now what we want to do is we want to reload the approach and fly the course reversal to get back and reshoot this RNAV approach after the mist. So let's set that up. Okay, again, we're sitting on, at a Sigi. So one of the things we want to do is we want to load the RNAV3 approach again. So let's hit the procedure button. And we're going to select the RNAV3. So I hit enter or push the enter button there. And we're going to do the initial approach fix as a pixie. So we select that, push enter. And look, it says you want to replace active approach. So I can touch anywhere in the green box, or I can hit enter to approve that. But I'll just touch there. All right. So now it is. it knows it's got an LPV approach armed again. We're at a CIGI, so now we're going to, you can see we're heading back over the airport, back out to a pixie, which is our initial approach fix, where we'll do the hold and return back inbound. So you can see I I reactivated that RNAV3 approach by just hitting the approach button again and then requesting it again. And again, you can see we're getting ready to fly onto the chart. It says chart here. If I went to the chart tab, you'd see the airplane coming in view here at the top of the screen. So we're going to pass the airport here, fly over the top, and head back and do the course reversal. Look at the map. That's what it looks like. Look at the Synviz. We're flying over the airport as we speak. There it goes. And we're on our way. If we go back to the chart, I'm just flipping through these tabs. First person, Synviz, there's a pixie. Go back to FMS. We're coming up on a pixie here. It's a teardrop entry into that course reversal. We get that indication here. There we go. Now notice it's telling us we're going to exit the hold at the fix because this isn't a hold. It's actually just a course reversal. And if we were all of a sudden ATC came on and told us to hold, then we could push the button and we could stay in the hold. We'd push this line select key number one here and, uh, tell it to stay in the hold. Otherwise, it's going to, the FMS knows we're going to exit at the fix. If I come over here to the map, you can see us on the, off the map there, but if I go here, now we're on the 3D view. And we're going to turn inbound as soon as we cross a pixie again. This will switch to LPV, and we'll switch to approach mode. Again, I'll go back to the first person SVS, SVS view, and this is where the lateral and vertical deviation indicators will pop back in and we'll go to an LPV as our nav source. Our nav mode will be approach and it says we're exiting the hold. There's LPV. There's our approach mode and here's our lateral and vertical deviation indicators. So just like we flew the first scenario, we're just going to fly the, the approach and again the simulator isn't going to d descend but uh, you can see we're, we've captured a glide slope. It's come alive. And, of course, when I get to a centered D-bar, I would want to have that coupled so that it would fly that. But in the simulator, we're going to go ahead and fly the mist. And it looks just like the scenario one we did. switch back the GPS off to a CG.